The fires have torched greater than 900,000 acres. Firefighters are struggling to get a deal with on the 560 wildfires which are spreading quickly all through California, torching greater than 900,000 acres of land and forcing greater than 119,000 individuals to flee their houses. Regardless of the 12,000 firefighters at present battling the blazes, a couple of dozen main fires proceed to develop, notably in Northern California. The Place 2 hearth groupings at the moment are a number of the largest within the state's historical past. Governor Gavin Newsom stated the state was placing every little thing we have now into the firefight, however that it was not sufficient, and that he had requested for assist from different states, together with on the East Coast, and from Australia. Even because the fires develop additional, forecasters with the Nationwide Climate Services Base Space Workplace warned that there might be extra dry thunderstorms this weekend, doubtlessly bringing a harmful mixture of lightning and wind to an already burning area. Lots of the present fires had been ignited throughout a rare interval of greater than 12,000 lightning strikes final weekend, what hearth officers have referred to as a lightning siege. They've now burned a dimension of land bigger than Rhode Island. The group of fires referred to as the LNU Lightning Advanced in Napa Valley continues to swell. It's now 314,207 acres, the second largest hearth in California historical past, and has burned via no less than 560 buildings, a lot of which had been houses in Vacaville, close to Sacramento. That fireplace grouping is 15 p. c. contained. The CZU Lightning Advanced has led hearth officers to order 77,000 individuals in San Mateo and Santa Cruz counties to evacuate, together with the Complete College of California, Santa Cruz, campus. That group of fires has grown to 63,000 acres, consumed nearly 100 buildings and is 5 p. c. contained. East of Silicon Valley, the SCU Lightning Advanced Group of about 20 fires, largely burning in less populated areas, has grown to 291,968 acres and is now the third largest in state historical past. It's 10 p. c. contained. Smoke from the fires is reaching distant, making the air unhealthy to breathe in lots of areas, notably in Harmony, which is east of Oakland, the place the air high quality index has handed 150, which means the air is unhealthy for everybody. Smoke from the fires has been noticed as distant as Nebraska. The injury to Redwoods is deeply private for a lot of admirers. Towering over the coast, straining for solar as they've executed since earlier than there was such a factor as California, the old growth giants of Large Basin Redwoods State Park stood in flames on Friday. John Gallagher considered his sons. Daryl Younger considered his father. Laura McClendon considered her marriage ceremony day. It was night and the solar was simply beginning to slant via the bushes, stated Ms. McClendon, a conservationist in San Francisco who married her husband within the park three years in the past subsequent week. We may hear birds. It was magical. Like a trip of time. Now the 118-year-old state park, California's oldest, the place the place Mr. Gallagher hiked together with his youngsters in June, the place Mr. Younger discovered to camp in his childhood, and the place Ms. McClendon repeated her vows in a stand of 500-year-old redwoods, has been devastated. Park officers closed it on Wednesday, one other casualty of the wildfires which have racked the state with a vengeance that has grown extra apocalyptic yearly. From the Southern California deserts to the Sierra Nevada to the vineyards and film units and architectural landmarks left by fashionable mortals, little of the state has been left unscathed by wildfire. Prior to now a number of years, infernos have scorched the Yosemite Nationwide Park, blackened the Joshua Tree Nationwide Park's palm-strewn oasis of Mara, broken the Paramount Ranch and eviscerated Malibu Summer Time Camp's beloved for generations. In a state that has traditionally most popular to concentrate on resurrection, the catalogue of loss has once more expanded, with the heartbreaking information from Large Basin on the prime. Once more, California is aflame. What's it about California that makes wildfires so catastrophic? There are four key elements. The primary is the state's altering local weather. California has at all times had wildfires, since its low rain summers are likely to dry out vegetation, which serves as gas when sparks strike. 
and whereas the position of local weather change in any explicit hearth takes time and scientific inquiry to determine, the hyperlink between local weather change and greater fires is inextricable. Behind the scenes of all of this, you've acquired temperatures which are about 2 to a few levels Fahrenheit hotter now than they'd have been without world warming, stated Park Williams, a bioclimatologist at Columbia College's Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory. That dries out vegetation much more, making it extra more likely to burn. The second issue is individuals. Wildfires will be attributable to lightning strikes, however human exercise is an extra frequent offender, usually via downed energy traces. Persons are more and more shifting into areas close to forests, referred to as the urban wildland interface, which are inclined to burn. Oddly sufficient, the nation's historical past of fireside suppression has additionally made present-day wildfires worse, when fires are fought efficiently, many vegetation that may be burned accumulate as a substitute. The ultimate main issue is the annual Santa Ana winds, which may additional dry out vegetation and blow embers round. The Santa Ana winds drive a second hearth season that usually runs from October via April. So hearth season is way from over.